is just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. Be a huge savings for the citizens of Pike County and the taxpayers of Pike County. Over the past two decades, at least two other efforts have sought to change the Pike County Fiscal Court, from magistrate-based to commissioner-based. The latest effort by Pike Countyans Against Government Waste gained some major momentum this week. The group gained enough signatures to submit the petition to Pike Judge Executive Bill Deskins, who in turn issued an executive order to place the measure on the ballot in November. Now, Pike Countyans Against Government Waste is hoping the measure will end up on the November election ballot. We can all work together in this county, but denying the people the right to vote is not the way to do it. I, I say we get her on the ballot and we vote for it. Pike Countyans Against Government Waste has been highly critical of the Pike Fiscal Court. Blankenship said his group's concerns prompted the petition effort. The system apparently is flawed. It's no longer working, at least not in our opinions, and that's why we're pushing to try something new. I mean, to do something over and over, expecting a different outcome, is the true definition of insanity. And as a county, we cannot go another day without seeing some form of change. And if they're not willing to make changes up there, which over the last year since the occupational tax passed, then what have we got to lose by trying? Now Blankenship says the county's other elected officials need to act to get the measure on the November ballot. The judge executive made the order. Now it's left up to the county clerk. Once she does her job, She'll submit the order to get it onto the books. That's the only thing the law says that she has to do, just submit the order to the sheriff. The handbills are printed out. Basically what's left now is the wait. The wait for the measure to be placed on the ballot and the wait to see how Pike County decides to be governed. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.